in our application that really isn't an application, we're going to make a geolocation-based check-in magic button. And to do that, we need something in the HTML to help us out. We opened up our home.handlebars file. And magically, you'll notice I got rid of VI. And now I'm in a nice editor here. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay out what little bit of HTML that we're going to need. Everyone who's watching this, yes, I know it's an incomplete HTML page at the moment. But we'll see in the other file how this particular template fits in with the other template. We're going to have a form. We are going to send the request back home. And we're going to have two hidden fields. We are going to grab, using the magic HTML5 geolocation API, We are going to, as the user logs in, find out if we can get their location from them. And we will let the user geo tag themselves in the database. To do that, we need a button so that they can submit the query. And we're going to throw some classes in here because, well, we won't spend a whole lot of time on this design. We'd like our app to at least look rudimentarily pretty. And since nowadays there's many ways and many libraries out there that we can use to help us with the design of our page for very little work, we're going to use Twitter Bootstrap. That's the form of our page. And the way Handlebars works is really nice because this is a partial that fits right into our main Handlebars page. We're going to get ahead of ourselves a little bit. We are going to go ahead and add the files that we want to link to make our page look at least a bit nicer. Linking them up. It is quite simple to use Twitter Bootstrap. And going with the trend, since we're using Node.js and we're being very trendy at the moment, we will also make our page responsive with very little work. Finally, we will have our own style that we can add. You might wonder if this particular uh, bit of code actually comes with Express. It doesn't. We need to download it. So we come back here, grab the Twitter to Bootstrap, download it, unzip it, and we're going to grab what we need from it. All we need right now is the CSS. We're going to put this in the static assets folder that is supplied to us. I have to spell it correctly. There we go. And then we're going to get rid of Bootstrap. Excellent. Let's take a look. Let's see if our page looks any different. Back to the browser, load everything up. And we can see it doesn't look that much different, but it looks a little nicer. Things have been spaced out from the edge. Our title looks better. And we have a check-in button. 